Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm not. And this is Steve trying stuff. Today, because I talked about it on Twitter the other day, well, not the other day, today, actually, uh, potted meat. Potted meat. I tweeted something about I'd rather eat potted meat on the street corner with homeless people than to uh, have dinner with the Obamas. But um, it was a reply to somebody else's tweet. But it made me think about potted meat. And I remember seeing it over at the Dollar Tree. That's what made me think of the tweet. The tweet. So I ran and got some Armor Potted Meat, America's favorite. Look, it's, it's red, white, and blue. This whole thing is red, white, and blue. And I'm wearing red, white, and blue because today is July 2nd. And look, July 4th is coming up. If this is good, you might want to run out and grab a bunch for your 4th of July party. Make some snacks out of it because it, it shows them making sandwiches and hors d'oeuvres here. Look, it's got like olive and cheese and stuff. And there's there it is on a cracker. So I've got crackers to, I'm going to try it like this first. And then I'm going to see if crackers make it better. So what do you say? Let's cracker this open and uh, see see what this tastes like. Now this is potted meat, whatever potted meat is. It's not pothead meat, which you, you might need to be high to really enjoy this. I don't know that yet because I, I haven't tasted it. But this is made with chicken and pork. That's what it said, made with chicken and pork. Oh, sorry, let's get this correct. Made with chicken, dash, pork added. Okay, that's be, I've got to be specific. But it is, it's healthy for you, uh, for you healthy eaters, it is gluten-free. Does it have gluten in it? No, it doesn't. So, zero carbs too. Okay. Well, it does have 590 milligrams of sodium in in the uh, the cans here. So let's see. Well, let's let's just do it. Let's do it. Well, at first look, it looks like bean dip. But it smells more like cat food. Which, hold on a second. I gotta yell at the cat. Hey, Cece. Cece. Silly. Get out of that plant. Cat, so I moved the plant to video. And it's over there trying to eat a plant. You know, cats aren't supposed to eat a lot of stuff. Like me. I shouldn't eat stuff like this, but I'm going to. See? Oh, we got a visitor. <laughs> it's a, hey, there's a cat butt in the video. <laughs> and she's lit, she is just licked the top of this because I think she thought it was cat food. Okay, well that's not, a, that is really not a good sign. Here, you wanna, you wanna turn around for the camera, huh? Look, look, look. Silly, look. It's Steve and Silly trying stuff. Okay, she just saw a squirrel outside, so she's chasing the squirrel. All right, here we go. Not bad. It's really, it's really not not bad at all. It's a little salty. I don't hate I don't hate that. I'm starting to meow. This cat food is making me meow. What's <laughs> up? Bobo came into the room. But let's try it on a cracker now and see what this uh, see what this does. See if it tastes better on a cracker. Tell you what, I'm gonna be a chef. Ooh, look, the cracker's falling apart. Cracker, cracker please. Oops. Cracker broke, falling apart. Like a cracker sandwich. 
Okay, ready? Mmm. Yeah. Actually, that's all right. The cracker and that tastes really good together. If I had a little drop of Cholula, a little hot sauce, maybe break off a little cheese, make little, uh, little potted meat sandwiches out of crackers. That might be what I have for dinner tonight. I might just go ahead and finish this off for dinner. There you go. So if you're looking for something cheap and edible, which I'm gonna give it the thumbs up on the edible, it's just some armor potted meat, America's favorite, from the Dollar Tree. Now only a dollar twenty-five, thanks to supply chain problems. Thank you, Joe Biden. Okay, till next time. Thanks for watching. Share it with your friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And uh, I know I did. I can actually buy potted meat that's tasty from the Dollar Tree. Till next time. Bye. Mmm.